Hello everyone. Let's look at the various options that are available in the Bezier toolkit for converting a curve to a mesh. I have added most of these options recently and they can be quite useful. So I thought of creating a separate video on this topic. If you haven't tried out the Bezier toolkit add-on yet, you will find the links to the relevant video tutorials in description below. The Bezier utilities panel is displayed under active tool and workspace settings area and there are additional tools in object mode and grease pencil draw mode. We'll be looking at the options for converting curve to mesh. Let's first create a few curves to try out these options. So I go to flexi draw Bezier and select the rectangle tool. This tool is also added recently to create rectangles of unequal sides. I'll select the drawing mode as bounding box and the constraint plane to XY so that I can create rectangles in XY plane. Let me also set the orientation to view so that the rectangles are aligned with the view orientation. Now converting these rectangles to plane meshes is very straightforward. I just need to select them and set the field type to n-gone and resolution to zero in convert curve to mesh tool and click convert. So all these rectangles are now converted to planes with four edges. This way of creating planes can be quite handy in many situations. For example, for modeling this box with the texture or for extracting the texture from this image. Once I have aligned the camera to the box orientation, which I can do with tools like FSpy, I simply create rectangle in appropriate plane, for example, in this case XZ, and maybe adjust it slightly with Flexi Edit Bezier to account for the distortion and convert this rectangle to plane. In case you are interested in using FSpy, you will find the details in video description. So, after I have created this rectangle, I just need to unwrap it with Project from View and set the image texture for this plane so that I have now a plane which has got texture extracted from the image. Let's look at the fill type options. The three options, nothing, n-gone and triangle fan are very similar to the options that you get when you add a mesh circle. The same options are now available for any kind of Bezier curve with the Bezier toolkit. So if I have a polygon, let's say, and if I select n-gone as the fill type and convert it to mesh, then the mesh will have a single face with edges corresponding to the segments of the original curve. If I use nothing as the fill type and convert the curve to mesh, then the resulting mesh will not have any faces but only the edges. And if I set fill type as triangle fan, then the mesh that I get will have all triangular faces with a common vertex at the geometric center of the curve. Finally, if I set quads as the fill type, then the tool uses remesh modifier to convert this curve to mesh and based on the remesh depth, it will be filled with appropriate number of quad faces. So if I increase the remesh depth, the mesh will have a denser network of the faces. For the other three fill type options, that is nothing, n-gone and triangle, there are two more options available, one for setting resolution and one for selecting the apply type. For a curve that has got only straight line segments, it very often makes sense to set the resolution to zero so that the converted mesh will have edges corresponding to the segments in the original curve. For instance, with this particular polygon, I would very likely want the edges of the mesh that I get after conversion should correspond to these straight line segments. I can achieve that by simply setting this resolution to zero. For a curve with segments that are not straight lines, it would make sense to set this resolution to a higher value. For example, if I increase this to let's say 5 and let me also set the fill type to triangle fan. So I get a mesh with a particular edge resolution. And if I set a higher resolution value, for example 10, then I get a shape that is closer to the original curve. But the flip side is there are more number of vertices and edges in the resulting mesh. I can apply this resolution either to the segments or to the entire spline. If I select the apply to option as segment, then the segments are converted to edges separately 
that means that overall segment structure will be respected in this case and there will be a vertex in the new mesh corresponding to a vertex in the original curve whereas in case i select the option as spline then the original segment structure will not be respected which results in a more uniform shape but this shape may not correspond very closely with the original curve and lastly all these options that we saw for converting a curve to a mesh are also available for multi spline curves like the one created from text that's it for now thanks for watching the video if you have any suggestions or feedback please leave a comment on this video